Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel, Poverty Hill Adventures. Uh, we're going to go fishing today. Uh, I got a little bit of extra spending money from some uh, paintings that I sold, so I was able to buy some shiners over at uh, uh, Captain Bob's. I went over and saw a hawk over there, and I, I got myself some bass shiners, and uh, we're at the, the little pond this morning, and we're going to see if we can uh, put that uh, money from the art show to, to some good use. Uh, uh, so <laughs> I'll explain later about the art show, but uh, let's go fishing. The water is just like a, a mirror this morning. Isn't it, uh, isn't it nice? The last time we were here fishing, <laughs> it was... It was a bit of a challenge. Uh, uh, we had all all sorts of crazy stuff. We had uh, uh, dogs in the water, and we had uh, uh, tangled fishing line around our ankles, and and snags, and equipment problems. <laughs> you name it. So I'm hoping this morning goes much smoother than it did last time. Uh, on a ride over today. Um, I saw a whole flock of turkeys, a whole a hen and some poults, uh, which was a great sign. I have not seen uh, a big flock like that in a long time, uh, and um, it's a good sign, a good sign for next uh, next year's spring turkey hunting. And then on, on a walk into the pond here today, I seen a rabbit. Now, to some of you, that may not be a a big deal but uh, uh, around here I have not seen rabbits in, in a long long time due to all the pre predators coyotes and fishers and fox and everything else so that's another good sign uh, so uh, maybe things are looking up uh, uh, I got a tip I got a tip the other day when I was fishing from a from a fellow angler about a new uh, new to me to fish uh, pond, a little pond. So uh, after I fish here today, I'm gonna stop there on my way uh, way back to camp and, and, and give that a try. Uh, um, sorry, I gotta keep keep looking, but uh, you never know that bobber could be down and uh, <laughs> I don't wanna miss any fish. So. You know, some, some folks uh, uh, look down upon uh, bait fishermen, you know, uh, but I like uh, I like fishing with uh, live bait and a, and a bobber. Uh, I find it uh, very very relaxing, uh, almost like uh, meditation. You know, sitting there watching that bobber, and and when it finally does go under, oh man, it's it's exciting. You know, um, uh, I mean nothing against other forms of fishing. Uh, they're all fun. I mean, in my opinion, whether it be uh, artificial lures on a uh, spinning rod or flies on a fly rod or or whatever, uh, uh, you know, from a simple cane pole all the way up to a elaborate uh, uh, tackle, uh, fishing is fun, <laughs> and I I like to keep it fun. You know, uh, some people. Uh, some people, they get it. They get a little, maybe uh, a little too serious on it, and uh, if they're not catching something, they they get all upset, you know. So uh, uh, let's keep it fun today. <laughs> I mean, hopefully we catch something, but uh, maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Maybe that new spot. Maybe the new spot that that fella told me about. Maybe we'll get some fish there if we don't if we don't get them here. So. While we're sitting here watching the bobber and waiting for a fish to bite, uh, let me tell you guys about uh, 
the art show, you know. Uh, those of you who, who uh, have watched the channel before uh, probably know that I I paint paintings on uh, on saws. I just started doing it uh, and uh, as a hobby, retirement hobby. And I had accumulated a pile of them, and, and I uh, I decided uh, to uh, try to sell them at an art show. So I um, uh, I packed up all my saws and my uh, uh, few other odds and ends that I had, and uh, uh, went to a local art show and <laughs> arts and craft show, um, and uh, I set up and. Uh, let me tell you, <laughs> this old mountain man was uh, like a fish out of water, let me tell you. <laughs> but the people turned out to be real nice. Um, uh, they welcomed me, and uh, uh, I, I, had a, I had a good time. And uh, I did uh, manage to uh, uh, scrape together enough money that I could buy some bait. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta you gotta do things out of your elements, you know, out of your comfort zone. Uh, my comfort zone being the the uncrowded woods and <laughs> ponds and lakes and streams. Uh, sometimes you you gotta you gotta just uh, uh, you know break away from that and do something a little different. So. Well, it doesn't seem to be that uh, the fish are cooperating today. At least here at the little pond, um, I'm kind of anxious to try out that that other spot that that fella told me about. So, what do you say we uh, we reel in our lines and uh, and we uh, see what that other little pond's all about and give it a give it a try. On my way back to the truck, <laughs> I decided to. Uh, Cast out one more time, and I ended up catching one. <laughs> well, at least I didn't get skunked at the little pond today. I just got back from that pond that that fella had given me a tip on, and uh, it turned out to be a pretty nice place uh, to fish. Um, and I caught some fish there. I caught about a half dozen bass. Unfortunately, uh, I had some battery issues. The battery was getting real low on my uh, cell phone camera, so I didn't take a lot of pictures of the pond itself. Uh, but I did have my GoPro uh, camera with me, and um, I got some uh, video clips with the GoPro of some of the fish that I caught. It, Real nice place, uh, and uh, I think it has potential. I'm going to go back uh, one of these mornings real early. Uh, you know, I, I like to fish these little ponds real early in the morning, and uh, I'm going to give it another go, but uh, I think uh, the place has potential. Uh, on, <laughs> on my way uh, over there, I remember I told everybody that I seen the, the turkeys uh, this morning on my way to the little pond. Well, wouldn't you know it? I seen more turkeys, different turkeys, uh, different uh, group of turkeys uh, on my way over to uh, the new this new place. And I I'm looking at it. This is a good sign because I have not seen a lot of turkeys in the last you know several years. Uh, so I think next spring should be a pretty good uh, uh, hunt, you know, spring turkey hunt. Uh, it appears to have been uh, uh, a good hatch this year and and um, good survival rate. Uh, so uh, fingers crossed for, uh, for next spring. Um, I think I'm going to have a quick lunch. I'm going to have a leftover tacos don't that sound good huh <laughs> leftover tacos from last night and then uh pull out the bowl and uh shoot the bowl a little bit uh, archery season is only a few weeks away i've been practicing been practicing quite a bit but i'll do a little more practicing today with the bowl 
The bow I'm shooting is a Osage Orange Self Bow made by our friend Hole in the Bow Chuck. Uh, cedar shaft, self knock uh, um, arrow. For a target, I set up this uh, piece of birch bark. I uh, got it stuck on a stick there up against this. Uh, it's a soft soil bank here. Uh, and I'm going to be shooting judo points. Uh, so uh, let's see how we do. Until next time, everybody, take care. Thanks for watching. Remember to keep on trucking and believe in yourself even when no one else does.